With the release of NHL 24, we now know all eight 87 overall team builders. So today, let's rank them. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Let's have some fun today and talk some NHL 24. Team Builder cards are part of the NHL collection, whereas if you collect 25 players from a certain team, you trade them in and receive an 84 overall special alumni player. Now we've gone through each one of these teams already in a previous video, so we already know all of the 84s. These cards are way better than the 84s. Though they may end up being a little expensive, they are absolutely worth it, especially this early in the year. Now you can collect any six teams. It doesn't matter what division they're in, nothing like that this year, they've changed it up. So if you save your rewards over the next like month or so, you should end up getting enough cards to make one of these 87s, no problem. The available 87 overall team builders are Luke Robitaille, Kevin Lowe, Sergei Zubov, Jeremy Roenick, Patrice Brisebois, Bill Guerin, Brian Leach, and Joe Newendijk. Now, later in the year, EA will release more sets where you trade in the 87 overalls, and you'll get different, probably 89 or 90 overall players. So if you continue doing these sets, you'll continue growing out your team that way. Now, let's take a look at each one of these cards individually, and then we'll start ranking them. The first one up is right-handed Bill Guerin at 6'2 for the Boston Bruins. He has the power forward and the speed boost synergies to really help him out. And he has silver close quarters, silver born leader, and gold truculence. Overall, a very well-rounded card. Doesn't really lack in any category. Not only is he a decent skater, but he's a decent size as well. And he can throw the body around, especially with gold truculence. Definitely could be a fun card to use. Next up, we have a center from the Chicago Blackhawks, Jeremy Roenick at 6'1". He's got the two-way forward synergy and the shooting boost synergy to help him out. And he has Silver Close Quarters, Silver Big Rig, and Gold Back at you for Reverse Hits. In the end, another really good card that, if you wanted to use, you couldn't go wrong with. Next up, we have Sergei Zubov of the Dallas Stars, a right-handed defenseman. He's 6'1 and has a two-way defenseman synergy, as well as the Checking Boost to help him out. He has Silver Elite Edges, Silver Seeing Eye, and Gold 1T. So if you're looking to score one-timers from the back end, Zubov could be a very good pick. Great on defense, however, his body checking is lacking, even though he has decent size. Shot's pretty solid, and he's a good skater. I think everyone here is probably going to be a good skater, so that might not be a factor. If you're looking for defense, Zubov is your only option so far. That is until we get to Kevin Lowe of the Edmonton Oilers. He's a left-handed defenseman with the two-way defenseman and playmaking boost synergies. He has Silver Thunderclap, Ice Pack, and Gold Shutdown. He's 6'2", but I'm going to be honest with you, this is not a card I'm going to be taking. Not only is he slower than Zubov, but his hands are worse, his checking's still not great, though it is better than Zubov, and his defense is alright, but the 80 hands really makes it hard for me to suggest this card, especially because he's slower on the back end. Next up from the LA Kings, we have Luke Robitaille at 6'1". He's a left-handed sniping forward, so he has that synergy as well as the defensive boost. He has Silver Crease Crasher, Silver Unstoppable Force, and Gold to close quarters, and I'm gonna be dead honest with you, this is probably the best card so far. 93, Speed and Excel. His shot's very good. His hands are insane. He can't check, but his defense isn't terrible, especially if you get that defensive boost on. Out of all the cards we've seen so far, this is definitely the best one. He's not small, but he's also not going to be throwing the body around. But if you want an offensive card, Luke Robitaille is the way to go so far. Our next defenseman is Patrice Brisebois of the Montreal Canadiens. He's 6'2", right-handed, and has the two-way defenseman synergy as well as the acceleration boost. And he has Silver Heat Seeker, Seeing Eye, and Gold Truculence. In my opinion, this is the best defenseman we've seen so far. While his hands are terrible, I think the card in general is better, especially his body checking. At 6'2", with 90 checking and Gold Truculence, this could be a card out there that will run people over. Just don't expect to be deking out too many people at the blue line, but so far, probably my favorite defenseman we've seen. The second last one is Joe Newendike of the New Jersey Devils. He's a 6'2", left-handed center with the two-way forward synergy and the Agile Dangler boost. He's got Silverborn Leader, Silver Snipe, and Gold Quick Draw. And if you're looking for a center, Joe Newendike is absolutely the way to go. An absolutely awesome, well-rounded card who's going to win you a lot of draws. He's not a bad skater. Between him and Robitaille, it's tough to choose which one I think is better between them. I think if you want a winger, obviously you have Robitaille who has the speed. But if you want a center, Joe Newendike is the way to go. Last but not least, we have the left-handed defenseman from the New York Rangers. It's Brian Leach. He's six foot one with the two-way defenseman synergy and the speed boost. He has Silver Elite Edges, Silver 1T, and Gold Stick Em Up. His hands and checking are almost non-existent. He's pretty solid defensively. His shot's solid, and he's a great skater. He's definitely the best left-handed option for you, but I don't think he's the best option in general. So there's your eight 87 overall team builders here in NHL 24. 
Now let's rank them from eight to number one. Starting out at number eight, we do have Kevin Lowe of the Edmonton Oilers. He's just not elite anywhere on the card and every other card seems to have at least something that stands out. Kevin Lowe does not have that coming in at number eight. Coming in at number seven, we have Sergei Zubov of the Dallas Stars. Well, I don't think he's a terrible card. He has decent skating. He can't check whatsoever. And I'm really just not a fan of his abilities. So got to put him at number seven. Now, the next three cards I have ranked the exact same on my little spreadsheet here. So they could really go in any order. I'm just going to start in alphabetical order. Um, and it's going to start with Bill Guerin. So technically he's six, but he could be as high as fourth. EA did a good job of rounding out a lot of these players and making them all usable. Garen might not have the best checking, but he does have gold truculence to kind of make up for it. His shot's decent. If you have synergies on, his hands are decent. Like I said, just a well-rounded card. Garen at six could be as high as four. At five, we have Jeremy Roenick. He could also be fourth. I think he's a really good card. Not huge on the abilities, like back at just not my favorite one to have. But his stats in general are pretty good. You turn on the synergies, he looks like a pretty damn good card. So yeah, he could be as high as fourth. I have him tied with Bill Garen. And the last card of these three, we have Brian Leach coming in at four, but could be as low as six. Really depends on your own personal play style. I think he looks like a great card. His defense is awesome. He's got great skating. His hands might be a little bit lacking. Same with his body checking, but his shot's solid. And he has gold stick him up, which I think is an awesome ability. So there you go. On to the top three. Coming in at number three, we have Patrice Brisebois of the Montreal Canadiens. The only thing truly lacking on this card is his hands, but... As a defenseman with gold truculence, I don't really see that being too much of a problem. He's out there to hit people, not dangle. His skating is good. His shot's good. His checking is great. And his defense is awesome. I have him just above Ronick, Garen, and Leach. Now coming in at number two, and this is where things get controversial, I have Joe Neuendijk. And even though I think he's the best well-rounded card, he has gold quick draw. He has great face-offs. His skating's decent. His shot's good. His hands and checking aren't terrible especially when you have all these abilities on. Like, look at this card. This is an amazing card and definitely could be number one. There are two reasons why I have Luke Robitaille as the best team builder to go after in NHL 24. One is his offense. His skating and his shooting is absolutely off the charts, not to mention how good his hands are. But really, the only thing lacking about this card is his body checking. And because it's early in the year, I think that speed is super important. At 93 speed in Excel, not many cards are going to be that high and able to catch up to him. He has both Silver Unstoppable Force and Gold Close Quarters, which are great abilities. And in the end, he's a former Detroit Red Wing, and I love Luke Robitaille. Not actually using that as one of the reasons I have him as number one, but yeah, that, I mean, I am going to make him first. But realistically, I think Robitaille is the best winger available. If you want a center, go Joe Neuendijk. His stats are nuts, and he's going to be awesome for you. So there you have it, my ranking of the 8 87 overall team builder cards available in the NHL 24. Let me know down below what you think, who you're thinking of making, if anyone at all. And I'll see you again tomorrow with another video. But for now, I'm gone. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay frosty.